Welcome back. There's a lot of noise and advertising about pensions in the media lately. Yes, yeah, so if you're wondering what all the fuss is about, here to explain is our resident finance expert, Paul Merriman, from Ask Paul. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. We know no pensions, Paul, are tax-efficient products. Yes. But... Who needs them? Does everyone need a pension? Yes, in my opinion, absolutely everybody needs to have a pension. Uh, <clears throat> so I suppose one of the questions I get all the time is, what is a pension? A pension is just a bank account or a savings account that you get a lot of tax relief on. Uh, so the revenue really help you out. So you remember the SSIAs? Yes. Uh, like, basically, this is an SSIA on steroids, I like to call them, because you get so much tax relief. So if I said you could open a bank account, pump money into it and get money back from the revenue every year, but you couldn't touch it till maybe 60 years of age, you'd probably go for it. Mm. Uh, and that's all a pension is. It's actually really, really simple. But people get confused uh, because the marketing messages maybe aren't that clear. Uh, they may have seen their parents have bad experience of pensions in the past, which are older style pensions and older style contracts. So yeah, everybody needs one. I think everybody should uh, get involved. I suppose the main reason for that is, you mentioned the tax. Uh, the tax is a big one, especially coming out towards the 31st of October. So if you're self-employed, you, uh, you're going to have a tax bill this year for last year, to pay this October yes. for last year. They were doing it online, it's extended to the 12th of November. Uh, but look, you can actually just offer a lot of your tax bill into a pension plan. So rather than writing a cheque to revenue, uh, you can put some money aside for the future, you, which is... Look, it's a no-brainer. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, not an awful lot of accountants recommend to their clients. So I've got a lot of accountants that do, uh, but not enough, in my opinion. So if anyone's listening this morning or watching this morning and they're self-employed, you've got to have a chat with your accountant. Get in contact with us, Paul, to have a chat about that. You mentioned this time of year is very busy for accountants. Yes. If you're a PAYE worker and yeah. perhaps you've paid too much income tax last year, yeah. is there a chance to yeah. get some of that back this Brilliant. Year? If you're watching this morning, you have a P60 from last year and uh, you're annoyed at the amount of tax that's on your P60, you can go back and make a pension contribution from 2018 and get revenue to send you back money, which is a ridiculous idea, but uh, every, you, everyone can do it. Okay. It's just that not many people are aware of what to do and how to do it and they get afraid. So I'd encourage anybody... I think people watching... might worry that they have an underpayment and then all of a sudden you're, you're owing money. Yeah, so you that's better off saying nothing. Yeah, do you so say nothing? Yeah, no, so from a, from, a pe from a pension contribution, it's not the same as doing a full tax transfer. You're just actually yes. writing in and getting a refund on the pension from that, on the contribution sure. from last year, 2018. But it's something I encourage everybody to do. So anybody watching this morning, it'll make a difference if you're in a work pension scheme, you can make an ABC or you can top up if you have a work scheme, if you're lucky enough to have it in work. If you have no pension, you can start and take tax back from last year. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just a complete no-brainer. A lot of revenue tax coming back to you, uh, which is not something you get a lot in this country. No. Uh, so why would you not spend maybe so 10 or 15 minutes investigating it more? Capitalise on it. Yeah. Uh, you have two women on the couch quizzing you on yes. pensions <laughs> and yet there's a pensions gap for women. Yeah, We're lacking, this came aren't we? Out recently. Yeah, uh, obviously there's, a, there's a, a gender pay gap and this goes to obviously spills into retirement age if women are learning less towards retirement age. But look, the big thing here is that when women take time off of work, uh, you know, they might take maybe an extended maternity leave and then go to maternity leave, and maybe when baby two or three comes along, they start taking maybe 10 years off, mm -hmm. the kids come out of school, if they can afford to do so. So that's obviously going to impact on how much they're going to have, say, for retirement mm -hmm. age, if they've had 10 years out compared to a man. But look, what I say to everybody, women or men, is that you need to plan. Uh, so this is people here say, you know, get into your pension as young as possible. So if you're a young uh, woman listening this morning, and you think you're going to have kids, maybe you're late 20s and you're going to have kids in your 30s, just start putting maybe a few ABCs into your work scheme or start a pension now. So if you do take a gap, uh, you don't have to worry about m missing the funding opportunity, you know. Uh, but like I say to everyone, any client that comes to me, a financial plan is needed for everybody in this country. Everyone needs to have a plan. So whether it's retirement or whether it's clearing debt or whether it's saving for kids' educations, no matter what it is, you need a plan, and especially, in my opinion, if you're going to take time off work to raise your kids, you definitely need a financial plan. And what about for other reasons, if you're taking some time off work and you have a yeah. pension scheme in place, can you take control of that pension scheme? Yeah, you can. So if you have a time off work, you can stop your pension contributions at any stage as well. But a good, a good one out there, and a lot of people know about is that if you had an old occupational pension scheme and say you left work and you haven't returned, you can take that money from your old employer and transfer it into your own name and manage it. It's called a PRB, a personal retirement bond, mm. bit of technicality there. So it, I'd encourage anyone that's listening again or watching this morning to maybe consider if they have that old pension plan 
to make sure to get in contact, move it into their own name and manage it. Like you can do really cool stuff with your pension fund. You can buy rental properties, you can invest it in stocks and shares. Look at you trying to sex up the pension yeah. plans. <laughs> You're so excited about it. It's hard not to feel yeah. this excitement. I have to, I have to really <laughs> try to bring something cool and sexy to pension. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your effort, I do. Thank you. Um, don't tick the box. You're urging us not to do Don't this. tick the box, yes. Yeah. So a what lot do of you people, mean? so if people are approaching retirement age or you're one of these people that left an old occupational pension plan, you're going to get a lot of documentation now from your uh, pension uh, provider or your trustees. And they're going to have three or four different boxes for you to tick. And they'll say, make sure you get some independent financial planning advisor, go to see a financial advisor. Make sure you do. Don't just tick it and send it back because that boxes, there's four, usually four boxes, and they all have a massive tax implication, cash flow implication, and even an inheritance tax implication to your estate. So it really encourages, if you have one of these forms buried in the back of a drawer, get in contact with Ask Paul and we can help you out with it. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, thanks we will so get much. there. No problem. Mine of information well, good. as usual. You understand it now? You're good. Great. You better understand good you. now than five minutes ago. <laughs> we'll have you back. <laughs> thanks, Thank Paul. You. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Still to come this morning, we're adding a little sweetness to the autumn season. We'll be having apple and caramel brioche in the kitchen. Oh, lovely. And we'll look forward to Breast Cancer Ireland's Great Pink Run series.